So first thing, we've got a warm-up, which you'll probably recognise because it comes from a yoga sequence, which I've just adapted a little bit. So here we go. First thing, we've got feet right underneath your hips, parallel position. I'm going to show you from the side because I think it's a bit clearer. So, parallel position. And just let your arms relax, have the feeling that your all the weight from your arms is falling down to the floor. Try and get rid of any tension in your upper body. And we're going to take a breath in and out. And again with the breath in, we're going to take a bend of your knees, make sure your knees are going over your toes. You're going to bend your knees and arms come up to the side on the inhale. Inhale, all the way up and exhale with a flat back all the way down to the floor. Now don't worry if you have to bend your knees a little bit, that's fine. So just take a moment to relax here, let the weight of your body hang over your legs. And we're going to take an inhale, looking up to the front with a flat back inhale and exhale. Now you can either jump or step back to plank. I'm going to jump out to plank. We've got four press ups, obviously you can do as many as you want. One, two, three, four. On the last one, you're going to come up to this upward stretch here. Now you can untuck your toes. You should have your knees off the floor, your hips off the floor, and don't let yourself sink into your upper back. Really focus on opening up your shoulders and getting that stretch here. Now we're going to push back to downward dog. So here, you're aiming to get your heels on the floor. If you can't do that, don't worry, just bend your knees a little bit. But you're aiming for heels on the floor. We're going to take four breaths here. We're going to go inhale and exhale. Really open up your shoulders and inhale and exhale. And again, inhale and exhale. And last one, inhale. And exhale. Gonna roll up through your feet, bend your knees. Now you can either jump or step back in to that parallel position. Just hang over your legs. You can take your elbows here and just let your upper body hang. Might pull you down a little bit further. Good. And then hands back on the floor, bending your knees and rolling up. Engage your core, rolling up slowly through your spine with your head coming last. And we're going to do that four times, getting a little bit faster each time. Okay, so let's go again. Starting position, feet underneath your hips. And we're going to start with a breath in and out. Bend your knees, breath in and out, flat back. And in and out. Jumping or stepping back and four press ups, one, Two, three, four, and coming up, untuck your feet, and pushing back to downward dog, four breaths in, and out, and in, and out, and in, and out, last one, in, and out. Rolling through your feet, bending your knees, jumping or stepping in, stretching your legs, bending your knees and rolling up and straight into it, bending and inhale and exhale and inhale and exhale. Jumping or stepping back, press ups, one, two, three, four, last one, coming up. And pushing back, four breaths in and out, and in and out, and in and out. Last one in and out, up through the feet, bending your knees, jumping in, stretching your knees and rolling up, and again a bit faster, up and down. And up and down. Four, one, two, three, four, and coming up. 
Stretching here, pushing back. Four breaths in and out. And in and out. And in and out. Last one in and out. Rolling up, jumping in, stretching, rolling up last time, bending up and out. And in and out. Press ups. One, two, three, four. Last one. Stretch. Pushing back. Breathing in and out. And in and out. And in and out. Last one in. Rolling up through your feet. Jumping in. Bending your knees, stretching your knees, bending, rolling up. Good. So now we've got an exercise which is um, used for improving your flexibility for your hips and your groin. So we've got the butterfly stretch. You've probably done this one before. So you've got the soles of your feet pressed together. You've got your hands on your ankles and you're sitting up straight. So make sure you're not slouching, make sure you're sitting up straight. Now we've got, if you're um, quite tight here, you can have your feet a bit further away from you. So this here is absolutely fine. Um, if you're more flexible, you can pull your feet closer towards you. And, and this goes for whether your feet are here or closer. What you then want to do is push your knees very gently down towards the floor, okay? And if you want, you can also take a little kind of upper body curve and stay in this position here for the stretch. Now, it's staying in this stretch for between about 15 to 30 seconds. So, good. Now, if you're quite flexible in this area, you can make it a bit harder for yourself by coming into a flat back and leaning forwards, and that increases the stretch. Good. And remember, keep breathing as well. Good. So, next one, we've got a more, a more dynamic kind of stretch for your hips now. So, start in this position. So you've got one leg in front and then one leg kind of bent behind you. And you want your leg in front to be at a right angle. So, what we're going to do, just a stretch for your, um, kind of your hips, your groin and for your back as well. So, for this, you're only moving this part. That's it, that's all that's moving. So just practice this first, get used to that. And then we're going to try it with the stretch. So. Now take your knee, other hand on the floor, and just stretch around to look at the back. So you should feel a stretch down here, and it should open up your back a little bit as well. And breathe into it. And then coming out. And let's do that one again. Taking your knee, look into the back, and breathing into it. And inhale. And exhale. And coming back round. Good. Let's do that to the other side. So swapping your legs around. Same position. Again, just this part that moves. You're going to take your knee, other hand behind you, and look to the back. And breathe in. And out and in, and out, and back, and again, coming around, taking your knee, breathing in, and out, and in, and out, and coming back. Okay, a variation on this, which is, um, gets you moving a little bit more, is this one. So, this time, you can do what you want with your arms, but we keep them out of the way. We're going to be changing the position from one side 
to the other side and just exchanging between the two sides. Good. So like a more dynamic way of improving your hip flexibility and mobility. Good. And you can do this a bit faster or, or more slowly, it's up to you. Good. Now another variation on this one, when you've got used to that, so same beginning, but we're just going to add a little bit on. So, same thing, we've got this and this, but when we come here, we're going to take it into a lunge. We're going to transfer the weight, swing your leg round, and same to the other side. Lunge, swing your leg round, coming back. 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 Good. Another stretch now, a slightly deeper stretch for your, um, your hips, your groin and your adductors. So we're going to start legs out to the side. Now, choose, um, don't push your legs out further than they'll go, all right? Make sure that you're um, at a position that you can keep your knees pointing up to the ceiling rather than rolling forward. Make sure your knees are pointing up to the ceiling and that you can sit up straight, okay? So, sitting up straight, hands out in front of you. We're going to breathe in and we're going to breathe out. When you breathe out, you're going to walk your fingertips forwards a bit, then stop. And we're going to breathe in again and out, walking forwards. Getting a little bit lower each time, breathing in. And breathing out. And breathing in. And breathing out. Until, well, the idea anyway, um, you're lying flat on the floor. Now obviously, you might not be able to get flat on the floor at first, that's, that's completely fine. Just go as far as you can. Take it really slowly, don't push it too far because it's quite a deep stretch. And really, um, really make sure you're working with the in-breath and the out-breath. So stretching further when you exhale, that really helps with these deeper stretches. Now for anyone who is really flexible in this area, obviously you can, um, you can push yourself a little bit further. And the same thing, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, all the way down. And just relax here. Just coming up. Oh, good. Now, oh, one other thing from this stretch, let's get back into it. You can also add in an upper body stretch to this. So feet out, knees pointing up to the ceiling. Um, you can add this on from here. You can go from here, you can walk your arms out and come to a side stretch. Make sure you open out that shoulder, you're not closed in and stretch here and through the middle, walking around slowly to the other side and again walking slowly through the middle and stretching and last one walking through the middle and stretching. Good. Now one other um, way of increasing your flexibility for your adductors, your hips, your groin is, is this one. Um, it's a little bit more extreme um, but it does work if you do it gradually. But make sure you're warmed up, don't just go straight into this. Make sure you've warmed up first. So you're going to need a wall. Um, I've got a radiator in the way but I'm going to try it anyway. So you need to push yourself right up against the wall. So you should have you should be touching the wall basically all the time with your um, with your your hips. So you stretch your legs out, just relax here for a minute, and then very slowly, just let your legs kind of uh, come out to the sides and stop where it where it's kind of more or less comfortable. 
And the idea is you just let kind of gravity, basically pull your legs down a little bit. Just got to keep breathing. Inhale. And exhale. And every so often, just see if you can increase the stretch a little bit more. Good. Make sure that your scapula, your whole back's on the floor. And just stay here. And what should happen is over time, if you keep doing this stretch, your legs will gradually be able to come down a little bit further. Your adductors will get a little bit more flexible. But it, it does take a little while. Yeah. So over time, you can push them back a bit more. Good. Radiate over the way. Good. And breathing. For as long as you can bear it. When you've had enough of that, use your arms, pushing your legs back up. They do get a bit stuck out there, your legs, so be careful. Coming back down. Good. Okay, so let's just do a little cool down just to relax a little bit. Uh, very similar to the beginning, the start. So feet parallel, show you from the side again. Good. And we're going to take a breath in and out. And we're going to start a roll down. So head first, really slowly, rolling down. Make sure that you go through each, each of the vertebrae in your spine. If you find a, a point where it feels a little bit tight, just hang out there for a bit. And then when you're ready, just keep going down slowly all the way to the floor. Now if you need to bend your knees here, that's fine. But just hang out here for a bit. Again, you can take your elbows, you can just let your body kind of dangle over your legs. Good. Hands back on the floor. Good. And stretch your legs. And we're going to take another bend. And a stretch. And a bend. And a stretch. And another bend. And we're going to come into a crouch. You're going to rock forwards. And back. And forwards. And back. Now if you can, just sit in the squat position. Try and get your heels on the floor. Um, yeah. And just stay here for a minute if you're able to. Good. Rocking back forwards. We're going to come into a stretch for your feet. So knees on the floor. Um, this might be a bit painful for some people, but... Uh, balls of your feet on the floor, sitting up straight, and just stay there for a minute. Stretch the stretch your, the soles of your feet out. Good. And when you've had enough of that, coming forwards, pushing back. And now we're going to push all the way back and send your legs over your head. Good. You can have your legs stretched. You can bend your knees. If you want to increase it a bit, and just stay here. You can also lock your hands and get a shoulder stretch in there too. And breathe. Good, you can have a little walk around if you want. Just fine. You can also support your lower back. Just play around a bit there. Good, when you've got enough, just let yourself come back onto your back and just relax on the floor. Are we finished?